not going to eat us. One home. And then, I'm very excited to tell you his story. His story, huh, amazing what God did. He did in my life, in my life, when I was a young baby in the Lord. I received the Lord in the wedding in Beit Emanuel, Tel Aviv. Who know Beit Emanuel, Tel Aviv? Okay, so I came to the wedding and the Lord showed up to me and I came to be a believer, believe in Yeshua. And then, one year later, this man came to give a lecture of healing, a lecture of to know why, why Israel? Why, why, why Israel? So he upside down. He upside down. The reality of the believer, and many people repent. And many people know Yeshua more deep in their life because they repent. Later on in their life, I came to be his worker. I, knew, I used to work here in this house together with uh, his wife Ruth. And I came to be housekeeper. And I want to tell you, I was so glad to walk in the, his house. I was dancing and praising the Lord all the time when I was working hard in the ceiling or fixing the chairs and table or whatever. <laughs> so, this is my testimony to you. What Derek Prince, what the Spirit did with Derek Prince in my life. And he, he warned me, he warned me. May you be careful, you're going to be one day like me. <laughs> be careful. But say, please, Lord, do it. So, um, Derek Prince and his wife, Lydia, and also second wife, was Ruth. Ruth and Derek, he was my boss. Nobody knows this, but I want to tell you now. <laughs> For many years. And... And he was living not far away from here. So, and then he moved together with Menachem Ben Chaim and his wife. And it was amazing. And many people knocking my doors. May you please, I want to see where's Derek. I said, Derek is not here. I said, Derek is in heaven. But they said, I want to see his tombstone. And people very excited. I take the time and pray what the Lord wants. And sometimes if the Lord tell me to tell him something, I run after he finish and then I tell him what the Lord tell me to tell these people. So it's amazing what God is doing with Derek. And one of the one of the reason I'm here, one of the reason I'm here. Why I'm here? Because there. and more people There's also not only there but more people so let's move now I just want to say ah, sorry 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 so he also have something to say go ahead Glenn. Um, I am um, uh, uh, live not far from uh, actually very close to the island in the German colony and I remember once uh, you know, I, can, uh, I saw him and Ruth um, were walking uh, just ahead of me. So I walked a little bit uh, faster to catch up to them. And as I got closer, I heard they were talking with one another. And as I got close, I realized they were quoting scriptures. Yes. Just as walking on quoting. Yes. <laughs> and he, he quoted one verse, and then she quoted the next verse, and then he quoted quote the verse after. I thought, that, that what makes a great man of God, someone who knows the scriptures that are hidden in his heart, and and they just he was just sharing. Um, the two of them were speaking together uh, as they went along the road. Incredible. But um, Derek, when he first came uh, here, Israel was divided, and uh, for those of you. Um, uh, 
uh, on my way home every, every day, I passed the place that used to be the border crossing, where Derek uh, Prince used to go out. The, it's now a museum, but it used to be the border crossing house. And um, this is where um, Derek would have needed that went through when he went from uh, Israel into Jordan, or Jordan back into Israel. So, it's uh, quite amazing. Yes, there I can hold. Yes. You know, he's, the stone he cannot speak, but I made his stone alive. Uh -huh. I let his, the stone to speak to people. Sometimes I take his app and I let the people to listen to what he said. Yes, and and what this 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 one is why Israel? Mm. Why why Israel? Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, Father. I, I had the honor of working for Derek Prince Ministries for eight years. Three of them in Fort Lauderdale, and then we moved the office to Charlotte, North Carolina. And we'd see Derek probably once a year because he primarily lived here his last 20 years of his life. He had home in Pompano, Florida, Pompano Beach and also in Hawaii, where you taught at YWAM every January. Uh, God is faithful. That's probably one of his most remembered sayings. We had a conference in 2004 after he had passed on, and we called it God is Faithful. And in the publishing warehouse, where all his books were shipped from, we had a big banner from that conference that we put up on the wall. And as of last year, it was still there. Another one I wanted to mention this morning was that Derek said there are no emergencies in the kingdom of God. He said, God has it all planned out. We just have to hear and obey and it's going to be taken care of. So why worry? Uh, he was a good man. Well, probably the greatest Bible teacher I've ever known. Yes, I agree. I cannot see a man. People are all the time looking for Maurice Sorello. People looking for Benny Hill. Yeah, God used him a lot, yes, absolutely. I was also uh, ushering for him. Yeah, it's okay, but never know done something like, like that. I never know see a man like him. Never know see a man like him. When God took, took him, like they took Jeremiah, the prophet Jeremiah, and make him glory to the kingdom of God. And don't, nobody will listen to him. But many people listen to him. And many people repent. And the glory to Yeshua. One day, uh, 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 one of the heads of the motorcycle from the US came. I want to see Derek. I need to, I need to pray. He lied down here for, he lied down here for uh, one hour and pray. He prayed to the Lord to get, get his vision to understand. So I really, really also later, I also came and prayed for him. And he went back to the States and he's still running the motorcycle. And he, he shared with the motorcycle, he had books and gospel. So when he see another motorcycle man, take from his back and give him. When he, when he driving in the street, just give it to the next, next person with the motorcycle. So the gospel going very, very well with these people know that it feels. And many, many people from all around, all around the world come visit him. Now let's finish with Derek. Praise God. Let's go see 